Hurricane Ian is long gone, but residents in southwest Florida are still dealing with heartbreaking damage and loss. Unfortunately, I lost my husband in this storm, so it's pretty devastating. In Lee County, which saw the highest number of deaths, search and rescue teams are looking through demolished homes and buildings for signs of life. Getting in and out of there and making sure that our teams stay safe and don't get hurt, along with our canine people and our dogs, uh, it's very difficult. The only access bridge from Florida's mainland to heavily damaged Pine Island reopened to residents this week, giving way to grief and despair. It's like a death of a loved one. You know, just like it, the, the pain just comes and goes. This group of volunteers traveled by boat to bring water, food, cleaning supplies, and even toys to families in need. I reached out to just my team and kind of see what the need was, what happened, and then it just grew from there. While Ian has passed, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis says the danger remains, even further inland. The issue is like you have all this water that's built up, and the coastal areas drain a lot easier. The governor says Florida's disaster relief fund has raised almost $40 million to help people in need as the state braces for a long recovery ahead. Michael George, CBS News.